Hi everybody, how are you guys doing today? Come on in and thumbs up the video if you are my friend. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. I have my glasses on here. <laughs> y'all come on in and thumbs up the video. How are y'all doing? I am Vanessa and this is Vanessa's van life journey. I live in a van. Her name is Treasure. I think I need to start saying it every other video. In every video, I have a van. Her name is Trailer. <laughs> I have a van and her name is Treasure. And I also have a camper trailer and her name is Blessings. I still have my camper trailer. So for those of you who are wondering if I still have my camper trailer, the answer to the question is, yay, I do. When am I going back to my camper trailer? You just gonna have to stay tuned to the channel and see, girl, I don't know where I'm going. I don't know where I'm gonna be. Uh, and when I'm gonna be there, I am a nomad. I live in a van. I do have a camper trailer. I will go back to my camper trailer when I'm ready. But until then, I am traveling in my van. So I want to talk about today disappointments. I want to talk about just because you have disappointments in life. Do not let the disappointments stop you and do not let them set you back. Like things happen. What next? So hold on. Let me show y'all something. I am in Abilene, Texas, and they have a Planet Fitness here. I came to this Planet Fitness to take a shower. Girl, so how about on the day I come to the Planet Fitness to take a shower, they are closed, and they will be closed to Friday. Today is Tuesday, and they're going to be closed to Friday to reset their store with or their gym with new equipment so that's a setback i drove all the way over here only to find out they are closed i also drove to abilene to uh camp out at the state park which is abilene state park so i drive all the way down here at abilene state park yesterday and they don't have any vacancies none nada they are fully booked no vacancies so sleep in the parking lot i want to film some videos uh on abilene but i came to take a shower now i can't take a shower so now i am headed back to the state park i think i want to get something to eat and i'm thinking about putting some cooking something and putting something on the grill but at the same time I don't feel like going in a store right now and shopping so I'm about to go back to the state park it is 2 35 the state park I have to exit the state park by 10 so maybe I will go by HEB it's not a HEB that far from here Maybe I'll go by H-E-B and go get me some beef. And I have some wood in my van. And uh, I have some wood in my van. So maybe I will I don't know what I want to do. Maybe I'll just go and do a barbecue or just smoke some beef and smoke some corn so this is probably what i want to do so let's ask siri for some directions to heb hey siri uh -huh. give me directions to heb please proceed to barrow street then turn left so it told me to turn left so anyway you guys don't let disappointments in life detour you from living turn left um, there are always going to be setbacks in life uh, in one I, mile turn right into the parking lot I was a little sad this morning she's saying one mile turn right into the parking lot in one mile I was a little sad this morning Tears. And now it's time to get 
get up. <laughs> and, you know, take the time that's necessary. I'm not telling nobody that you shouldn't be sad. Take the time that's necessary to be sad, to mourn, to grieve, whatever it is. And then after that, just know that you have to get up. You have to get up. And you have to keep going. Like you can't stay down. Don't let your problems, depression, breakups, relationships, don't let nothing keep you down, y'all. Don't let nothing keep you down. Uh-oh, look at this dog. I was trying to show y'all this dog that was crossing the street. Traffic had to stop, but we was gonna hit him. And uh, I didn't record it. I, I had it pointed at him, but I wasn't recording it. He was a beautiful dog. A beautiful dog. He looked at like a husky. A yellow husky. Very beautiful. Whoever dog he is, they need to get him. But anywho, y'all don't let things get y'all down. Don't. Everybody gets down. Everybody gets down. Don't let nothing keep you down. See, we are only... Ooh, wee, that road is bad, y'all. We are only human. And it's going to be things that happen to us in, in our life that make us sad. We're going to get depressed. I'm not going to lie to you and tell you, you should never, ever, ever get depressed. Anybody that tell you that, they lying. You're going to get depressed. You're going to get sad. Uh, you're going to get overwhelmed. All of that is going to happen to you. But don't let nothing keep you down. You need to be like a rubber band. You need to bounce back. And if the rubber band break, what you do? Tie the rubber band up and you keep it moving, y'all. Learn to just keep it moving. Don't let nothing get you down. Learn to, if something happened and it seemed like the situation is broken, learn to fix it. Take that rubber band and fix it and tie it back together. Just, just have a spirit of resiliency. No matter what happened to me, y'all. No matter what happened to me. No matter how sad I get. No matter how down I get. I am going to always have a spirit of resiliency. I am going to always have a spirit to bounce back because I wasn't meant to break. Like, I got God in me and he loves me and it don't matter who is against me. God is for me. I need y'all to know that. I need y'all to know no matter who is against you, God is for you. So I'm about to go in uh, H-E-B and we're going to get something to put on the grill. I don't know what. Probably a couple of steaks. Probably some corn. I need to plug my refrigerator up. I haven't had my refrigerator plugged up in weeks. Uh, and I need to get some baking soda because my refrigerator stinks. The freezer part stinks. Uh, I cleaned it out but it still stinks because I had left something in there that wasn't, that ended up going bad. <sighs> Take a deep breath, y'all. Relax, relate, release, and everything gonna be all right. I'm sad today. I feel like crying. I don't even know why, but everything is still gonna be all right. And I'm gonna relax, relate, release, and just give it to the Lord and keep going and keep moving and, and keep bouncing back no matter how tired I feel sometimes I just feel tired sometimes I just want God to come back and I just I'm just ready to go to be with my Lord but he ain't accommodating me he ain't coming back to get me so I still got to put one foot in front of the other one every day and keep going that's all we could do let me know if this helped you, encouraged you, and 
keep me in your prayers, y'all, and I'm going to keep y'all in my prayers. I love, love, love y'all, and I appreciate y'all so much. Let's go. Hey, y'all, I didn't have on my shoes. <laughs> so let me put on my shoes. Money $15, $20 on oh, some fast food. I can get me some beef. Where's the beef? I can get me some beef. Oops. I'm always dropping y'all. Are y'all tired of being dropped? Hey y'all, I haven't been to a H-E-B in a little minute. Uh, but this one was right down the street. It was right down the street. Let's see if we could go in this way. So anyway, I'll see y'all when I get in there and decide what I'm gonna get. Like I say, I have no idea what we are about to eat or put on the grill. I have some firewood. Uh, and I have some lighter fluid. So let's just find the meat department. They have my turkey legs and my ham hocks. Six dollars, seven dollars, but I don't feel like cooking that. Uh, I want something to put on a grill. So they have these steaks. These are pork Boston butts. Oh, so this is pork ribs. That looks good for $12. That's cheap. Uh, I don't know if I want pork. I don't normally buy pork to cook. But that's a good price. We might consider that. $12 for all that meat. Uh, or we can get this for $21. Whew, chai. I think I'd rather have the $12 one. So let's keep looking and seeing what I'm going to end up getting. I, wouldn't, I didn't want to go by the vegetables until I decide what I'm going to get. Now this right here is $19. Maybe I'll get this for $19. Uh, this is some beef chuck shoulders for nine. Uh, we could get that. That would be, that would be good to put on the grill. I think I'll get that and maybe some corn or something. So let me continue to look. Uh, let's see how much are the drumsticks. Oh, that's a big pack of drumsticks. The drumsticks are only, they kind of frozen though. But they're only $5. Which is actually a good price. Um, so, these are not as frozen. So, I guess I'll get this. I guess I'll get that. I love putting onions on the grill. So, I'm going to get me two onions. I think they only have the pack though. Uh, let's get two onions. Let me see how much the eggs are. I know Walmart have that big thing of eggs for really reasonable. So they have these eggs for 412. I guess I'll get that. And okay, I think I passed the I passed these freezer sections and didn't even notice that these were freezer sections. So the corn should be somewhere 
in one of these freezer sections. I had just passed it by thinking it was a regular aisle. Wasn't paying attention. Maybe over here. Okay, here's some corn. Here is some corn. We just need a little small pack. Even though I like a lot of corn. Oh, this is one ninety-eight, so that's enough. And we're gonna need some aluminum foil. Isn't the bacon soda down by the flour and stuff? So now I need some aluminum foil. And I don't think it's down this way. I think it's gonna be down this way. So let's get some aluminum foil and we are through. Okay, I think the aluminum foil might be down here with the paper plates and stuff. Yes, this is where it is and it is, we're gonna get the cheaper brand. I don't need that much anyway. So we're gonna get the cheaper van and I'm gonna just check out the coals. Even though I have firewood, I'm gonna check out the coals and I might just get a pack of coals just to make this process go a little faster since we are having a, getting a late start on this aisle. Probably so. Let's see the cheapest 488. Do they have anything cheaper than 488? 488. You pay coupon 498. $5 off oak charcoal size 14 pound bag. I think this is it. 14 pound bag is $5 off. You end up paying $4.98. I think that's a better deal than getting a smaller pack. You end up paying 10 cents more than you would for this small pack right here, which is 8.0 pounds. So. I think that's it, y'all. Let's go check out. Okay, y'all. So I am out of. Ow, ow. I just hit my leg. <laughs> Don't you hate when you hit your leg on the basket? Oh, now I feel crippled. I just hit my leg. I was talking to the cashier and she had a lot of questions about van life. She was telling me that the Circus Olay, I just hurt my leg, y'all. <laughs> oh, I'm crippled now. <laughs> she was telling me that the Circus Olay is in town. So I'm gonna have to go check that out. I did see something about it somewhere. Uh, but now I'm gonna go check it out, Circus Olay. Uh, in Abilene, Texas. So I'm definitely gonna go check that out. So anyway, that'll be something else to look forward to. She didn't give you a tip, bro. Wow. She didn't give him a tip. I think that's kind of sad. People make their groceries and then they don't get them a tip or nothing. That just don't make no sense. They can sit up in their car in luxury, waiting on somebody to shop for your groceries, put it in your car, save you time, make you more lazier, and you can't even tip them. I don't know, maybe they tip on the app, but I would still give the person 
that's like helping me a tip so anyway y'all let's make it to this state park before it gets too late and nobody don't be at the window and I have to check my own self in so let's do this Okay, y'all, I made it to my campsite for one night. I got my food on the table that I'm about to cook. And now I'm setting up everything. I just plugged my electric up and I got my little thing on my uh, door. I'm gonna sleep with my doors open tonight. So uh, yeah, I'm about to plug up my refrigerator and my lights and everything. And uh, then I'm gonna put this screen on my back door. I'm going to sleep with my doors open tonight. Hopefully it won't get too cool, but that way I'll get a cool little breeze in tonight and I won't be too hot. Okay, y'all. So I am getting ready to cook. I bought some chicken. This is not the chicken though. I bought some beef chuck shoulder steaks onions corn chicken right here and some charcoal some aluminum foil Bacon soda for my refrigerator and my freezer because they smell. And we bought some eggs. So that is our van life grocery haul. I'm about to go get some water so I can rinse my chicken and stuff off. I got my seasonings in there. So yeah, that's what I'm about to do now and then start my fire. I got the meat on the grill, y'all. I'm cooking the beef first because that's going to cook the quickest. And then I'll put the chicken on the grill. I need to go throw some trash away. I don't know where the dumpster is, so I'm about to walk to the dumpster and throw some trash away. Hopefully, the dumpster's not too far. I seen one. Hopefully, the dumpster is not too far. Because if it is, then we're going to be in trouble. This is everybody else's setup where I'm at. And uh, this park don't really have that many features. And the one feature that's probably... A good feature that everybody would love is the swimming pool, but it is under construction. A lot of things at this park is under construction. I think that's a trail. 
So I'm just here for one night. Got in late. Uh, I don't know if uh, I'll get a spot for tomorrow. Uh, but I'm going to get up early. I'm probably going to take me a shower tonight if it's not too far to walk to the shower. Y'all, I don't know where to shower it. I don't know where to trash it. I don't know where anything is. And I hope I'm not walking too far because I don't want my meat to burn. So if I get to this corner and I can't see where the trash is, I'm going to turn back around because I don't want my meat to burn. The chicken, I can leave on longer. The chicken will take longer to cook. But hopefully, there will be a trash can somewhere. A dumpster. Is that it over there? Or oh, that's somebody's van. I don't even know. Is that a dumpster or somebody's tent? I think that's somebody's tent. So I don't even. Oh, here's a dumpster. Yay. Houston, we have a dumpster. So we didn't have to walk too far. And I don't know where the shower is, but I am going to have to come to hello I am gonna have to come to a shower let's go back to our site and flip our meat over again I got some corn in the package with some butter salt pepper and parsley two onions on the grill and I'm probably going to eat a piece of beef before anything else is ready because, girl, it is, what, probably going on 6 p.m. And I haven't had anything to eat or drink today. My lips are feeling a little dehydrated. Uh, my lips are feeling a little dehydrated. But y'all, the prices uh, to state parks vary uh, at Huntsville State Park. A spot with electric is $20 and your regular campsite is $15. So here, your regular campsite with no electricity is $12. And the spot with the electricity is $15, y'all. That is fabulous. Only $3 difference for electricity and water at your site. So I have electric and water. Only one night, though. Couldn't get two nights to get that half-off discount. But it's okay. I'd rather have a spot and know where I'm going to sleep at tonight than have to drive back into town, figure out where I'm gonna sleep at, burn gas, that, it all costs you in some shape, form, or fashion. You either gonna pay the $15, or you gonna, uh, you either gonna pay the money in gas, or you gonna pay for a spot. So I appreciate having a spot tonight, just to have something, somewhere to cook my food, somewhere to regroup, uh, go take a shower, throw away my trash. Did I mention fix me something to eat? Yay! Fix me something to eat. It's the biggest thing. Which I could have did this in the park, just cooking in the park on their, uh, on a grill in the park. It's 
So let me taste a piece of this meat. I might want it well done anyway, so I'm gonna taste a piece. finished cooking my beef I put one piece aside I got the chicken on and the corn on I already said my grace because I ate a piece earlier I ate the other piece off of this so I'm gonna finish this piece Cause I'm hungry. Mm. And I haven't had anything to eat today. I need to find out where the shower is. So I can go take me a shower or I could take me a day in life back. I don't know if I have my food too far from the heat. If I could bring it down a little bit or what. Okay, y'all, I seen that young lady walk this way. I asked her, was the bathroom this way? I think it's right there. So, let's see. I think that's it right there. The bathroom. So I can go take me a shower I could possibly go take me a shower while my food is finished cooking. So I'm about to go in here and see what the shower looks like. It's convenient. I'm. It's right behind me. Yay! Yay! So let me go take, use the bathroom and see what the shower looks like. I hope the water gets hot. Okay, you guys, there are two showers. There's a little bench here and two toilets shower bench and two toilets and three sinks so while i'm uh cooking i could be getting my shower bag together i can be getting my shower bag together Y'all, I thought the time changed after Easter. Like, it's March, uh, like the 11th or the 12th or something like that. And the time done changed already. I think, I thought the time changed after Easter. Y'all let me know. It's a leap year. So, I don't know if the time changed sooner this year because it's a leap year or what so anywho i moved my chicken down farther and so now it's gonna cook a little 
faster, I guess, because my coals was burning out. So, you know, chicken take longer to cook. So I do want to make sure that it cooks. I guess I can throw some more coals on there if I need to. But I'm going to go get my... Uh, I'm going to go get my shower clothes ready and take me a good long hot shower tonight. My fan on in the van, my screen door on the front opened and I got my screen on the back open so I'm going to sleep with my van door open tonight take off my tennis shoes so I can get in the van. Somebody was saying they like my new shirt. My van life, Vanessa's van life journey shirt. These shirts are not new. I've been having these for a while. I just haven't been wearing them. I have a whole uh, thing full of shirts that say Vanessa's van life journey on. So, I'm black get me my shower bag and some pajamas and it's a good thing the shower is close by I'm dehydrated I haven't had anything to drink so let me get this shower bag out of here I'm gonna put this stuff up. I wore this once, but I'm gonna get another use out of this before I wash it. And it's not uh, cold right now, so it might be a while before I wear it again. But I'm gonna fold these up. Anyway, I'm going to figure out what I'm going to uh, put on. After I take my shower, what I'm going to put on. So I'll see y'all in a little bit, little minute. Oh, and if y'all didn't scan y'all uh, Fetch receipts today, if y'all haven't signed up for Fetch, sign up for Fetch. It's an app that you I use to scan my receipts and I get points for scanning my receipts. And I can redeem those points for gift cards you can let your points add up all year long. You can refer your friends and your family members and you could get points from that. So I'm gonna put the QR code up on the screen and you guys can scan that QR code, put your phone over it like you're taking a picture. Scan the QR code and enter in my referral code P6WCJQ and scan your first receipt and then you're gonna receive whatever points that they're offering for free for your signing up. If you sign up without using the referral code, then you won't get points for signing up. So make sure you use the referral code to sign up P6WCJQ so you could get your uh, free points. This is not a sponsored video. This is just an app that I use that I like to tell all my subscribers about so you can save some money. I actually already cashed out over $400, 400 or $350, something like that. I've already cashed out before. Right now I have close to $50 that I could cash out. I always just get an Amazon gift card so I can go on Amazon and shopping. So I'm probably gonna cash out soon. Because I do have some things that I can go buy on Amazon. So I probably am going to cash out soon. But I'm going to put all the information 
on the screen and the information is in the description box below. Just look below the video, click more twice or the down arrow twice and you'll see all the information. So let me get ready to go take my shower while it's still daylight. Okay y'all, I am in the van and I just got through taking a bath, but my skin, look at my skin. I ain't put no lotion on. My skin is uh, peeling. Probably from something I'm using. I tried this new facial cleanser. Girl, I don't think it's working out. Look at my skin. Peeling. But I just got out the bathtub and I did not put on any lotion. And sometimes uh the water in certain areas make my skin really flaky and stuff so i'm in a new area my my skin might not like the water but girl my skin is looking a hot mess anyway i'm in the van and i'm getting ready to go to bed i got my fan on that i bought from walmart working really well and I'm about to put my eggs up and my food up that I cooked. So I got food for a couple of days. And I'm probably going to watch some uh, YouTube videos of the people that I'm subscribed to. Or I watch some Netflix or I just go to bed because I am kind of tired and I do want to get up early in the morning. So that is going to be it for today's vlog, you guys. I'm so glad I got a spot at least for one night. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. I'm about to put some lotion on my skin. Hopefully that helps it. I might put some oil on my skin tonight. Some walnut oil or something. So I'm going to talk to y'all later. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all. Have a blessed and wonderful day. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload a new video. And I appreciate y'all and I love y'all and y'all have a blessed and wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Bye now.